Advancing Ukrainian forces say they've liberated 41 settlements from Russian control. This comes after Moscow ordered troops to withdraw from Kherson city. In fact, those who restore all conditions from a normal life go to the liberated areas immediately after our soldiers. The first and basic thing is demining. The occupiers leave behind thousands of unexploded mines and ammunition. I have often heard estimates that clearing Ukraine of Russian mines will take decades. The Ukrainian defense minister says it will take Russia at least a week to withdraw its troops from the southern city of Kherson, and he insists Russia still has 40,000 troops around the Kherson region and on the west bank of the Dnipro River. For the real uh, analysis, we have to see the real movement of the uh, units or the platoons in Kherson district. And according to our intelligence data, they didn't uh, start their real moment, in the, for example, from the Kherson. And we see them still in city and uh, around the city and in the western bank of the Dnipro River as well. And we know that they have uh, the, all kind of their military groups approximately 4,000, 45,000 uh, personnel in Kherson district. It's a lot, of, it's a huge quantity of the personnel. The Kremlin says the withdrawal of Russian forces from Kherson won't change the status of the region. Moscow proclaimed Kherson as part of Russia after it and three other Ukrainian regions held what Moscow called referendums in September. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov says the region's status is fixed. According to Ukraine's public broadcaster, the Antonivsky Bridge has collapsed. That bridge was the only nearby road crossing from the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson to the Russian-controlled eastern bank of the Dnipro River. Meanwhile, in Mykolaiv, Ukraine says six people were killed in a Russian missile attack on an apartment building. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.